Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so we're going to update the BIOS on the ASUS Prime B660 Plus D4 motherboard. And basically, I want to type this in up here in the search bar and click on this link. Lots of reasons for doing a BIOS update. Perhaps you're looking at this, you want to upgrade to uh, 13th gen in the future. Maybe some security issue. Maybe uh, there is a problem with uh, something that you have bought, it's compatibility. Or um, you're looking to see if some RAM that you want has been added to it. So all kinds of stuff they do. So what we're going to do once we get in here, click on support. And then we are going to click on driver and utility, BIOS firmware. And then you want to expand this section for BIOS. Okay, so what I always like to do, folks, is read every one of the BIOS. Here's the first release. Well, how do I know which release I have, right? So this is 418. What you can do, two places, you can check in the BIOS or you can type in sysinfo. That brings up system information. And we see right here 418. So this is a... This is actually a rather old uh, motherboard first release. No wonder they're uh, these were so so cheap. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, so yeah, here's our BIOS. Um, the next BIOS they updated ME firmware, improved system performance. Nothing spectacular. On this next one, improve system compatibility for non-K CPU. More of the same with the next BIOS update. More of the same here. Update microcode for next generation Intel processors. Wow. So I don't know if that means they're going to dump some more 12th gens out or we're talking uh, some 13th gen for the future. But uh, one thing to look for was, hey, were there any of these that I needed to update beforehand before I do the most up-to-date? None of them said that you had to, so we can grab this one, okay? So we're going to click download. And down here you see, hopefully it's downloading, show and folder. So there it is. I want to extract all. And then you want to click on this BIOS renamer here. Press any key to continue. And now this has been updated, okay? So I'm just gonna copy the whole folder over to my thumb drive. It's nice to have a thumb drive that doesn't have any files on it, but uh, this should work regardless. So there's our folder. Now if you wanna see what I have this formatted to in a NTFS, which usually works. All right, so we've got our BIOS. Now the next thing to do, folks, is check your weather, okay? Uh, you want to make sure you don't have any hurricanes, thunderstorms, uh, wind storms, hail storms, what else? All kinds of crap, right? So you don't just don't want bad weather coming where you might lose your power. Now, if everything seems safe, let's go ahead and move forward. One, one word of caution, folks. Updating your BIOS and potentially uh, unplugging it or um, there's other things you might do to your computer that could screw up the BIOS update. And if that happens, uh, you could brick your motherboard, which will make it virtually worthless. So uh, you got to be careful with this stuff, right? Now we're going to reboot. And I'm going to uh, be hitting F2 in a moment. Start anyways. Yes, we're impatient. All right, so I'm doing this with a video capture card, and it may or may not. Yeah, looks like it's going to actually show it. Sometimes these things wig out going from Windows to the BIOS, but we made it. All right, so depending on your motherboard, in this case, there is no link here to it. We need to go to advanced mode. 
and usually under tool is the ability to update your BIOS. And in this case, in this one, it's called Flash Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility. All right, so we're in here. Now you gotta figure out which drive is which, folks. This is uh, interesting. This always happens. So we'll just start clicking on these until we see our folder that has what we're looking for. And boom, there it is, Prime B660 Plus. Now if you have a lot of drives, you're gonna see a lot of stuff there, okay? And obviously, if we didn't have all this other crap on here, we would see less information, right? Hence why it's good to not have a lot of stuff on here. We're gonna click this folder. There's our file, we wanna click on it. Please back up your BitLocker, we don't have to worry about that. Do you want to read this file? Yes, I do. All right, so once again, check your weather, make sure everything's good. And if you have a UPS, an UPS, whatever, uh, on your computer, make sure it's actually working. So here we go. We're going to update the BIOS. Now I'm gonna step away, folks, from the computer, and this thing is gonna update. So we'll just sit here patiently and wait. So overall this process is uh, anywhere from nine minutes to uh, 15 usually. Now things we didn't talk about folks, uh, if you happen to boot up and your computer goes uh, eventually straight to BIOS instead of Windows and you have multiple hard drives or solid state drives, it may need to, uh, you may need to change your boot priority back to what it was. Sometimes these things will completely update. Now, if you have RAM that's overclockable, you will also need to uh, hit the good old XMP button again, because this will reset it back to uh, disabled, XMP disabled, all right? My RAM is uh, fixed, so can't show that, but uh, hopefully you already know how to do that. And what else, folks? That's about it. So we're, uh, we're almost halfway there. And we are getting so close, folks. So your computer's probably gonna restart a few times. Um, the capture card may not show you that happening, but uh, so update successfully, system will be reset. Sometimes this happens automatically. It looks like it wants you to click okay. Um, and in my case, folks, I think it may have uh, Locked up the, uh, the recording screen. Nope, it's actually rebooting. So it didn't give me the opportunity to click OK.
Uh, police had her set up to recover BIOS. Blah, blah, blah. So we'll click F1 to go into the BIOS. And you can see we have the new BIOS up here at the top. So it looks like we're good to go, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.